Welcome back everyone for the next part of Library of Ruina. In the last part we had some slight difficulties fighting against the Spy Association simply because during the first wave Finn took quite a beating but got into the range of uh, what was it called again? Library Informations? The Hot Blood uh, Blooded Brawler Badge. And that's the reason why I didn't really want to let him fight anymore, because I really wanted to give him that thing. But it also means I had to swap to a different department, and the different department that I picked was hot, simply because she had the, the Mars page in Napus, so I kind of hoped the combined power of both of them, of Shy Look, would be enough to beat Sans and the team. But it turns out the Shy Look was too happy about seeing Napus that instead of helping him, he kind of distracted him, and that led to the downfall of the whole, uh, whole fight. I mean, they were able to dish out quite a lot of damage to them before Markov and Ricardo had to take over. But <laughs> I kind of expected them to at least take down one of them, simply because uh, Hot had two speed dice. But at the same time, those two speed dice only cost for Hot to have literally a, a slight cut issue. She barely had any cards at hand. Her light was running out. Lapus was distracted. The whole fight was a mess on their end, right? The whole fight was a mess at their end, but it's fine. It's fine. I just need to get used to the to the mask icon. I have to keep in mind that showing teeth doesn't necessarily mean angry. He smiles with that as well. He has to be sad and angry, Lapus, okay? have to focus on that. Sad? Angry. At the very least, uh, we can take as much time as we need in order to see the face. It seems like it's does it doesn't really swap that fast in comparison to the fight itself, but still, I need to be careful. I'm very trigger happy with my, with my space bar. Sometimes I click too fast, even though I shouldn't. Kind of like a reflex, and that could totally screw him over. So I really need to be careful about that. Okay, uh, and I kind of upgraded a few of our decks, like the uh, Tobias, I think. Did I? Yeah, I gave him the Silent Knight. Markov and uh, Ricardo received a couple of uh, new pages, like Fences, Retaliate, and uh, Ricardo got your shield and handling work. I really hope those cards are going to help us out, especially today, since Markov is going to have a new abnormality, and Nesek. And I would almost say we're probably going to start with Nesek first, simply because uh, he's lacking any partner right now, right? He needs to have a partner around here. He didn't even have a chance to fight yet. So without further ado, I'm going to have the Fragment of the Universe? Oh, that's cool. But as I said, without further ado, let us help him out, right? Understand perfection, moment, know, knowledge, hour, meaning, and something else. Do it together, chant song, and reach enlightenment. Impale you, my understanding, cross boundary, human. Okay. Are those all the cross that I need to reach? Thank you, buddy. This time around, I kept it under my thoughts. <laughs> Sing a nervous focus moment C exists. Okay, never mind, he still has more. Mm. Understand perfection moment, no knowledge. Our meaning. Deliver. Do together chant song enlightenment. But I think now he's literally feeling himself. Okay. So I have to wait a couple seconds in order to see all the all the quotes. And then we also have another quote at the bottom. The echo is coming from somewhere. I still can't forget the ringing. Please no ringing. That's sick. That's sick. If you talk about ringing, the forsaken murderer might show up around here, you know? Okay, so what's the deal? Incohensible. Uh, the double stagger damage to all sources. You are the forsaken murderer. Holy hell! And what do we have here? It does all types of damage. This weak to uh, stagger damage. 
adds a lightman to the target's hand. Four to eight. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Can I stop that? No. Okay, we're going to endure that and hit you back. Oh my god, he almost staggered him with one hit. He almost got staggered with one hit. And you're going to give me enlightenment. What is enlightenment? Will it hand decreases make stagger resistance by 50%? But it has the power to block a hit. Containable knowledge. Ah, so that's the debuff that I get from that card. I could use it whenever. It doesn't really use any type of light. But... I mean, you're going to stagger me anyways, right? Don't really do that much damage. I can still take a little bit more. How about I try to get paralysis on you? There's a chance I might roll a 6 and you a 4. Let's go for that. Oh! Both for 6, I see! That's it! You're lucky! You were actually lucky for once! Okay, then... Echoes from beyond. Deal 0 damage if the target has enlightenment in hand. 4 to 8. 2 to 4. 2 to 4. I see! That looks dreadful. Wait, so that means I have to keep the enlightenment. But the enlightenment is able to help me survive for the other rounds of attacks, though, right? So you want to keep them, but you also want to use them against your other types of attack. Mm -hmm. That is, if you don't have a, a card like uh, a Fruity that has a chance to block it with a roll of six. I see. Well, uh, can I try to get paralysis on you? Let's try to get some paralysis on you. You're not going to do any damage, right? It might not work. But you aren't able to do any damage, right? Zero damage if target has enlightenment. I still have my enlightenment. Oh, that means actually every roll is zero. Oh, that's even better. I just saw, I just thought you, you aren't able to do any damage. Oh, I see. Okay, now your roll is lowered, thanks to the paralysis. Which means I can pretty much do whatever, and I should be able to win, right? Let's try that. Yes! Yes, Nesek! You are able to pull this off, thanks to the power of paralysis. And then he's trying to repeat it again with the echo of from the beyond. Okay. I don't really have paralysis on me though, so that's a thing. Uh, I'm going to go for the cooking preparations. There you go, staggered. Going to keep on with the bleeding effect. Do it together. Chen Song. Enlightenment. Doesn't really seem like it changed the votes at all. So now I'm finally able to do some damage around here. So we probably need to make the. Should I go for non stop assault or guts harvest? Didn't really seem like the bleed was dealing any damage to him. Yeah, we're going to go for the non stop assault. Heard it where it hurts. Understand perfection, moment, and knowledge. <laughs> That's not good enough. Oh well. So now your defenses are back, and you're trying to pale me again. Ah, great. How about I'm trying to go for struggle? At the same time. Now ah, you know what. I'm just gonna take it. Yep. I'm going to get struggled either way. Now you aren't really able to do anything. Right? Yep. 
you're literally unable to do anything every second turn. It's like turrets in Pokemon. <laughs> as long as I have that card. And since he has a recovery effect, that 8 damage is literally nothing, right? I even have a second enlightenment card now. I can use my second enlightenment to block it. If I really want to, that is. But I don't really want to, right? I'm going to go for paralysis next. Never mind. My god, let's see about the stagger. Okay, maybe I should have used the enlightenment. No oh, well. Let's take even more hits. Oh, now we can't even talk anymore? What is up with that? Are you desperate? <laughs> okay, here, you can have an enlightenment for me. I don't need that many versions of it. There you go. And then we're going to go for a, a relatively strong attack, probably. Yeah, that should do the trick. One, two, three. There we go. Some serious damage around here. I still have three lives, which is perfect. That means I can go for God's Harvest. One and two. Okay, well that was easy enough, right? That was easy enough. <laughs> huh. So all you really have to do is keep a enlightenment at hand. And he literally gives you one every turn. Why wasn't Shylock that easy? Huh? Or Forsaken Murderer? Forsaken Murderer literally ripped my yes at apart multiple times. And the Shylock literally popped my heart. <laughs> He just touched her and she exploded in a bloody mess. Holy hell. <laughs> Sir, you gotta wake up. You gotta get sick if you sleep on the floor. It's, al it's already on the floor again? Netzek once again casts a glimpse at Froland, who is still lying on the floor, before turning back again. Oh, the smell. It is finger rolling around the floor. Oh, don't tell me. A beer can? Where the heck did you even get this? Did you actually... Did they actually give you a vending machine? I mean, we did have one in the bottom floor after... In the last couple of weeks, but... You... Were able to keep that? <laughs> this is the library, Roland. Construction from the light of possibility. Anything is possible as long as you've got the book. So you have a book of alcohol? Uh... Are you sure you're not... Uh, you're sorting the books well. You seem okay at receiving guests, at least. He nods, uh, he nods to the pile of books next to him. Really? You sort them all? Let me see, that's... The books are almost randomly scattered across the floor! I don't think that counts as sorting! Well, that's, that's your opinion. <laughs> Here, have a drink. <laughs> hey, you've got manners, at least. Well, let me take a sip if you insist. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> never guess I get a chance to drink beer in this place. Boy, how I miss the sparkling softness. Good stuff, huh? Eh? It sure is, brother. Oh my god, they already become brothers? So how's work we got? <laughs> He's already drunk! <laughs> what? <laughs> it's been going well somehow. Not that I am satisfied with it though. And what's the biggest complaint at the moment? Uh, that I have to take someone else's life with my own hand. But it's either you or them, ain't it? That is why I have to fight, and that is why I don't like about it. I probably have to kill even more people as, as time goes by. Doesn't matter if it's a if it's saint or scum of the earth. Everyone wants to live all the same. I'm picking up what you're putting down, but it's not different. Uh, different out there, really. People all hurt and kill others because they don't want to hurt themselves. Take others' lives so you can keep yours. Bit too obvious, maybe. I guess that's just how things are in the outside world. Where are you from, by the way? The nest? Back streets? Eh, don't know. I feel tipsy. All I remember for sure is that I'm working at Globalming Corporation. I mean, it's been 10 years or so? And even longer for them. Must have been a pretty uh, pretty sweet spot working in a mega crop like that. Oh, 
You really think so? Of course, people are bound to envy anyone who gets to join a wing. They give a lot of cash, welfare is nice, and you gain social status too. Yeah, that's what they always say, until you read the, the fine print. Let's just forget about all that for now and drink some more, shall we? Alright, gotta drink while I can. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Did you catch? Where's Roland? Is he also lying on the floor? Did you drink too much? They might have passed out. They might have actually passed out. <laughs> Oh god, what did you do? What did you do? That's it. <laughs> You're going to cause issues for Roland. He's, he's literally... Oh, he's already... He already has to work so much around here. <laughs> um, echoes from beyond. You see a song in front of you. It approaches, becoming more colorful by the second. Be 5 to 10 stagger damage to all enemies. All allies recover 5 to 10 stagger resistance. Is that a, a attack that I can use right away? Tentacles. The moment its tentacle penetrates you, it will drain all the interest uh, interest for the life you're currently living out of you. Single ally. On a successful pierce attack, reduces max damage resistance, uh, stagger resistance of the target by 5%. Up to 50%, excluding mass attacks. So that means... Uh, that sixth floor is pretty much all about pierce damage? Incohensible. Incohensible. Eventually, the succeed in entering the domain of the fragment of the universe. However, it was obvious that his, his brain couldn't withstand that. Ah, that's a he! Yeah. Yeah, that thing is so chaotic, I'm not entirely sure if the brains of a human is able to actually wrap. All of it in the screen. Single ally. On a one-sided attack, inflict one feeble in this arm, black scene, at a 50% chance. Oh really? Feeble and this arm? The likelihood is increased by 10% for each successful attack. So if I have like a freer attack and hit them three times, it has a 30% chance. On top of the 50% chance, which means the first hit has a 50% chance, the second hit has a 60% chance, and then another 70. Is that it? Oh, that would be great. That means it's literally almost 100% as long as I have multiple attacks, right? And if I have a chance to use, uh, right, uh, if I had a chance to do a single sided attack, I should probably go for the full offensive simply because evasive dies. Just don't work, right? They just don't work unless you clash against something. And would you look at that? Shao's back! I'm really sorry, Shao. I know you wanted to join hands around here as well, but we have uh, other librarians who want to join as well. But before we go over to recruitment sites, we first have to handle the happy teddy bear. Okay. So we have the match girl, the scorch girl, and the teddy bear. Are you going to have the... Uh... It stands. It actually stands on two feet. I thought it's just going to sit around there and do nothing. And maybe have some uh, other things in front of it, like the Heart of Aspiration. But no, no, it actually stands. But as I was about to say, she has a little girl and our teddy bear. Are your abnormalities child? Children related? Are we going to see the child of the galaxy and maybe Leticia around here? I mean, it would fit to the theme. Don't hit me, please. I'm already worn and torn. My cotton stuffing is sticky. Or I'm sticking. Would you like to play with me? I was too lonely. You don't want to be hit, is that it? It's okay, don't be afraid. It's just playing together. Are we? Don't you want to feel this fuzzy and warm feeling? Are you trying to give us a hug again? Affection, reduce the cost of nostalgic embrace of the old day by one. 
After engaging in the clash. Nostalgic embrace. After engaging in the clash. Okay. That thing loves to play with people. Right, hugging was its favorite thing, wasn't it? It feels refreshing to see you again. Yeah. I think it was a little bit troublesome at the time, but uh, other than that, it was a perfect trainer. I had so many beer years. <laughs> Timid and daring. So you don't want to be clashed, is that it? Yeah, if I clash, it's going to reduce the cost of nostalgic. What is a nostalgic breeze? Nevertheless, if you. You even roll a 10? Holy hell! Okay, so they, they're they making sure that he always rolls high. That means if I don't want to clash, I need to attack with Mark of it. I'm just going to try to inflict some paralysis around here. There you go. Let's go for this. I mean, it does little to no damage. Did that count as a clash? He's happy! <laughs> He's happy! That's good! Timid and daring. Okay, so I have to get around four to six defense dices. Okay. Well, uh, Ricardo, it seems like he really, really likes you. That's good. Please keep uh, distracting him, I would say. I'm just going to buff up our defenses a little. At the very least, it seems like he's literally doing no damage around here, so that's good. Uh, I might want to give some protection on him, though. So that, at the very least, he's able to inflict some burn on it. Oh yes, he really likes Ricardo. Display of affection. Oh. Is that nostalgic embrace? No. What the heck are they talking about? Do I need to clash against that now? It is a lot of damage. It's 4 to 6. 3 times. 3 times! And it always rolls a 10! Okay. Uh, at the very least, I have some defenses on him, so that's good. I'm going to go for the dry up. Uh, I'm sorry, Ricardo. You might want to take this. The power of the match girl compels you, right? The power of the match girl compels you. Fire times free. <laughs> oh God, Ricardo. <laughs> he really likes you. <laughs> he really, really likes you. He's about to. He's about to inflict a stack on you, though. Can I stop this? Accommodation? Is that... Is that enough to stop it? Not really, right? Oh no! Ricardo, you have to take one for the team! You have to take one for the team, Ricardo! Uh... But you might be able to still survive it, right? Yeah, he can still survive it. At the very least, we have that. We're also covered with a power boost, so that's good. Let's go for this. Oh, the stagger! Oh, Ricardo! 4 HP! 4 HP, Ricardo! 4 HP! Oh no! You're so dead! You're so dead, Ricardo! It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna struggle next? Or should I retaliate? No, I need to struggle to get protection. And then uh, I can use uh, retaliation. And then maybe to slow or something? I don't know. I don't know. I seriously don't know. Oh. Okay, let's go for this. Oh, you, can't, you can't block that. Okay, well. You have to tank one for the team! Actually speaking, I'm going to dish out as much damage as possible. Yeah, we're going to go for retaliation first. Or should I fend off? 
I'm only going to get one light, right? I'm only going to get one light. Yeah, we're going to go Fendor first. Ricardo's dead. Did you see what you do? Did you see what you do there? You killed your friend! You killed your friend, Teddy Bear! Was it really worth it? Not really, right? Not really. <laughs> oh wait, no, I didn't see what he was... Ah, oh, I should have clashed with it. I should have tried to clash with it in order to see the nostalgic brace thingy, right? He didn't even use it once! He didn't even use it once! Roland! Phew! Got a ton of books for you, Markov! Oh, by the way! I told you before that this is my third life, right? Oh yeah! You've been thinking about your previous lives, right? By the way, I heard from Angela that this place is related to Lobotomy Corporation somehow. Is that really true? Um, it's not just related somehow. I was an AI in charge of the control team in Lobotomy Corporation. AI? As in artificial intelligence? Hold on a second. You're an AI? Just like Angela? Um, sorry, my wording was a little off. I wasn't actually in the eye. I was a human whose brain was restored. And restored for a second chance. If anything. Oh, sheesh, I was worried for a second that this place violated the AI ethic amendment even more than just one time. The head would come burning this place to the ground at any moment if that were the case. Oh, you mean the institution that managed the city? Yep, the head. They usually like to stay awfully quiet, but when they do work, they they are scarily through, uh, through and quick about it, or so I've heard, you know? You're so casual, aren't you? I thought we were having a serious conversation here. Oh, whoops, sorry, I gotta <laughs> I gone through all kinds of stuff, so my priorities tend to be a bit unusual. It's not like I was trying to ignore what you were saying or anything, Marco. I'm sorry if I made you feel that. Oh, you have a rather unique personality, Roland. It was all part of my survival tr uh, strategy. Anyways, back to your past. You said you used to be a, the boss of control team back in Lobotomy Corporation, right? That's right. And now I'm in charge of the history here, as you see. So I started out by tracking, uh, tracing back in my own history, very, very slowly. Would you like to have a listen? For sure. Ah, <laughs> uh, not a not a really a fan of long and convoluted stories. Hey, don't be so, such a mood killer. You're supposed to agree on stuff like that. What about my backstory? Are you interested in that? Well, why are you bothering asking if you're going to tell me the story anyways? <laughs> well, uh, you know what? You got me there. Anyways, I was ordered to work in the Bordemy Corporation as the head of control team, bearing all my flaws. I was given a role to play as soon as I woke up, not realizing who I truly was. But with my heart still aching from the unresolved pain and regret from my past, almost about to burst and uh, just like that, I, I keep doing inhuman acts for the Bordemy Corporation. I didn't even question what I was doing since it was all just work to me. It felt like a calling even. The only thing guiding me was a vague feeling that something went wrong because I didn't try hard enough. A twisted sense of effort pushed many into peril and forced others into following my selfish standard like a fretful child. Well, it must have been rough for you being told to work like that without knowing what you were getting into. Did your memories naturally come back after working in Lobotomy Corporation for a while? Or... Did it get triggered by a certain someone who reminded you of the past? No, it's more like, uh, it'd be more correct to say I re was reminded of them. See, it helps by traumatizing her. Oh, shoot. I, I forcefully remembered her, which led to a meltdown that could have destroyed her as a whole. I'm sorry, Markov. I didn't thought that I was the reason for all of this. My life at Lobotomy Corporation was actually my second. And when my emotion finally erupted when working there, I could remember my first life. All the mistakes and falls I had made, and regrets. 
I couldn't understand why I had been so obsessed with trying hard. Turns out, what I really wanted was recognition. Look, I'm trying so hard. I'm a useful person. I never knew how to stand up without learning with someone else. After I vented out all of my emotions, the inner struggle that had been haunting me for so long finally dissolved. I found it redemption for my first life during my second life. Alright, so let me get this straight. You did something wrong, which you regretted so much and died. Somehow I came back to life and got another job. Uh, and a big lump of regret in your heart eventually got resolved in the turn of events. Well, I guess that's one way to put it. Hold on for a moment. Let's say that everything else makes sense since in the city, uh, it's, it is the city we are talking about. But who revived you and for what reason? Just to give you that enlightenment? Maybe so that I can let out all of my resentment and sorrows. Then I can finally find redemption. Oh, Angela. <coughs> Don't delude yourself, Markov. Oh, jeez. You scared me there for a second. Were you listening to all of this? Your salvation was never his interest. He only did what it means to find his own redemption. I wasn't the one using you. It was him. He used all of you just to satisfy himself. I can't bear to hear any more of this nonsense. Angela. Oh. Hello. Oh, nothing there. Great. <laughs> so, so, I need I you to fall, fall asleep. asleep. What's with those faces? Is the rest, Is the rest you all walk for? We can't let you do that. We worked so hard to make this happen. We worked so hard. Oh, how funny. Would you really call what you've done hard work? We're not going to sit still and let you take away our lights. Our lights? <laughs> That's funny. You're not the boss, and I would never listen to you even if you were. Of course you would. You're still loyal to that man. I won't let you rob me of the meaning I finally found. No one is by your side as I expected. Or rather by my side as I expected. Do not feel so lonesome though. You know? I shall stand by your side if no one else will to. What? Damn it, Peter. Even in the end, you're... This must be yet another consequences of his action. I simply acknowledge all events as valid. Completely neutrality. Completely neutrality. Whatever happens is about to happen, huh? I would have shed a tear of gratitude for you if I could. Well, you're free to act upon your wishes. Angela, the machine consumed by desires. You cannot take this path. I decided what I can and can do now. Is that the moment when she forcefully put them all to sleep? You can't linger to Lobotomy Corporation forever! Aren't you interested in learning more about yourself or living your own life? I, my life? It was to save humanity! It's That's why I could willingly sacrifice my life! It was for a greater cause! Oh my god, what a bunch of idiots! Oh god. Okay, but since that another storm swept by, that was kind of random. Are we going to see more clips from the past if we go through Markov's suppressions? Abnormality suppressions? Huh. So there was a fight and Bina was on Angela's side? I mean, I could have kind of expected that they would rebel against her. I mean, they worked so hard for the Pillar of Light. It is a bit weird to just shut it off in order to create this whole place. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I think they would just uh, take that light down. Huh? Anyways. <sighs> I gave away my two previous lives trying to save people. And I'm willing to do it again for the third time. We restored all those hardships and trials for the sake of humanity. Do we look like idiots to you too, Roland? Um... Well, it's not like I know enough details for that. Don't get this whole same humanity thing either. Oh, don't worry about that. I haven't understood that myself yet. They they tried to explain it. 
They try to cure humanity from something, but uh, they didn't really elaborate that much on it. They just told me that they needed that, that energy, right? And the abnormality who produces those energies. Anyways, but if that's what you're sincerely hopeful, who am I to judge? Of course I'm sincere, I... Um, please, leave me be for a bit. I need some time to think. Alright, you do look like you need some rest. Remember, deep breaths, okay? Oh, and you don't have to be so uh, too cautious with me when talking. Just thought I would let you know. Yeah. Oh no! Marco is starting to doubt again! That's not good! That's not good! Oh, that's the static embrace! I wasn't really able to see that, but at least now we can see it! Teddy was hugging someone tightly. Teddy loves her, but something was odd. Did you break his bag? I think you just broke his bag. Yeah, he's kind of struggling. Single ally. Upon winning a clash, the bonus stagger damage equal to the dice value and a 20% chance. Clashing against the same target multiple times will increase the likelihood. Oh, that's a promising. Similar effect as uh, the pale heads for Bloodbath, right? And then we have uh, Happy Memories. But you see, Teddy never wanted to be separated from its owner ever again. Single ally. The comment page with the highest cost in hand is chosen. Exclude one play page. Using pages with the same name will increase the cost of every copy of that page the character currently owns by one. So, uh, that means, that means if I have multiple high level cards, they're going to decrease each other, is that it? Same name will decrease with every copy of that card currently owns. Is that on hand or is it a deck? Because if it's on the deck, I could put even more high level stuff in that deck, right? Then we also have Display of Affection. If memory began with a warm hug, all dice gain 1, one to 2 power in a clash. All dice lose 1 to 2 power in a one sided attack. Oh, okay, that's just weakness. But that's fine. Usually, you don't really want to. Uh, you don't really want to. Maxwell! Oh my god, memory lane! Maxwell is back! Shell is back! I'm really sorry, you two. It's not time for you to show up yet, especially in, this, in those departments. I have other plans for you guys. Maybe not Shell, but Maxwell, you're, to you're totally going to make a return. It's not here. Not now. It's, it's too early. It is still too early, Maxwell. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I think for the floor of art, we have multiple applications. So, uh, let me see who I'm going to pick for this one. Oh, Maxwell's back again. <laughs> She's really trying to return. Or rather, he. He's really trying to return. Okay, let's see. So, okay, our first recruitment for the floor of art is going to be Penguin. And his background story goes as follows. Penguin was never really a good fit for the Bordery Corporation. Mostly found taking naps and running about and causing minor havoc, usually not following protocol and the guidelines given to them. However, in the library, they seem to be of more use. With still not wanting to actually work, they seem to have fun in battle and be up for fighting any of the guests. So even though he doesn't really want to work at all, <laughs> he doesn't really want to work, he fits right in in that sex uh, department. It's, uh, he also doesn't really want to work. All he really wants to do around here is uh, sleep and drink, right? Sleep and drink. And thanks to his size, he's able to hide in the book pile, so Angela wouldn't really be able to find him at all. It's perfect, right? They're perfect for each other. And don't worry, don't worry. I know, I know other people also asked to, to join the, the flow of art. But we still have three slots open, right? There's no rush. It's fine. It's fine. Everyone can still join in their favorite departments, right? So, next we have Markov. So let's see what I'm going to do with you. 
So, okay, our next librarian is going to be Chiveros in the floor of history. Simply because I was able to tell from the comments that he really, really likes Marco. And since we have an open stock for that, why not pick him, right? I mean, in his game, it seems like uh, she's literally the best uh, team of all of them, so... Come on, I, I just had to pick it, right? He didn't specify which department he wants to be. But after all those praises for the girl, I'm just going to assume he would really, really love it if she were a joined her team. And after seeing the cutscene, we need to uh, support our girl as much as possible. She's kind of down. She already sacrificed two of her lives in order to save humanity. Failed twice. Now she has a third chance. And I would really appreciate it if she changed her mind a little. I mean, not many people have a chance to relive or regain their life multiple times like her. She should care about it. She should appreciate it. She should live for herself, right? At least for once. At least be a bit selfish. Become the mafiosi boss that you're always meant to be with the cigar of June, Valkov. Become the boss of all of them, okay? <laughs> Oh, and wait, I think he also had a story, right? Oh, yes, he has. Chiveros is a lot more specified in this incarnation. He's visibly comfortable in the library, as if it's an environment that is like his own body. He takes his role in the library very serious. Where he comes from, nobody knows. But his own book suggests that he's in existence that has seen many different realities and has played a part in most of them. Thanks to this book, however, the library can be certain that this is the real version of him. When asked, Chivera simply smiled and responds with, eh, who knows? All that matters is that I'm here and people rely on me, doing this job. And thanks to the book, I really hope nobody is uh, going to have any issues uh, remembering him, simply because every time we presented the, the run, you won't know in the bottom recuperation, there was always a slight memory issue. His existence wasn't really born to the blame itself, right? Which means every time he showed up, it felt like a new recruit to everyone else. Even the manager was a bit confused at times. I mean, he replied via letter. Nobody applies via letter around here. <laughs> okay, uh, I still need to equip them though. So let's see, the, the percentage page, the corpus is going to boost you up. Not going to build the whole deck just yet, simply because uh, we have other things to worry about. Actually, how much time do I have? Barely any. And today's a Friday part. What to do? What to do? Can we do another abnormality? Should I read some pages again? Like I did last week? Maybe I should? Uh, wait, where was it? Books? Urban myths. Street lights. Right, we could read the, the story from Mars, Lulu and Sands now. Now that we have all three of them, right? I could e I could even read the pages from Lulu's friends. You know what? I mean we still have a little bit of time. Not enough to actually send out another invitation. But hey, we can we can read some lore, right? We can read some lore. Is that a lot? Oh that's actually a lot. Never mind, we're only going to read those two and maybe sets yeah only those three okay let's do this my mother was a fixer with a high grade that every one of my peers would dream of reaching she was the envy of all a radiant individual who received endless supplies of various expensive equipment and garnered constant recruitment offers from other officers does it mean i had a safe comfortable childhood under the care and well of such a wonderful person had it been the case, I would have earned a position in one of the wings already. Being the son of a high rank fixer, I was often targeted by syndicates opposing her, and my mother's acquaintance had high expectations for me, so it's always under stress. At first, I was okay with the expectations. I was already dreaming to follow the path of my mother. In case, or rather in fact, I was hoping to live up to it and hear compliments such as I knew you could make it from others. Yes, I'm doing I'm going to become a great fixer just like my mother. Then she'll be proud of me one day, right? She will proudly say, That's my boy in front of others. I study harder day after day. 
taking no breaks in between. Countless times I held my sword with a strong resolve, and many days I spent weeping alone. Even if I faced setbacks and failure, I believe I could overcome them and stand strong like the protagonist of a movie. No! As if, oh no, as if I could eventually become someone great, and then we had to sh cut him short before he was able to reach anything. But in the end, I grew into an ordinary, aspirated fixer, and I learned that I was only an average person with no talent to show off. When I entered an ordinary office with my own ordinary capabilities, my mother seems very glad to hear the news. She said the associated office of the spy is a good start. That I'd certainly be able to become a success, uh, that to become successful if I work my way up slowly. However, I was greatly disappointed in myself, and I couldn't look my mother in the eye until I say my final goodbye and left the house. So wait, wait. He put the pressure on himself. The mother was actually glad that he had the slow start, so that he wasn't thrown into the most dangerous battle right away. Maybe the mother doesn't really care if he follows his, uh, her footsteps. Maybe she just wanted to be sh sure that he's safe. But he didn't saw that because he wanted to make her proud. Mouse, you stupid idiot! Why are you doing this to yourself? You ruined your relationship to your mother just because you were insecure about yourself. Sure, you, just because your mother is great doesn't mean you have to become great as her. You have to pretend her, but you don't have to become as great as her. Just be happy together. And what about Lulu? What what uh, is Lulu doing with all of this? Oh crap! crap. Another day without work. work. Fantastic! There got to be some cat. There got to be some cases for us to take care of, like fly tip or something. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna forget how to move at this rate. If I told my friends about this, they're so gonna why like, well, isn't it a good thing that you've had a lot of free time? Or, you're well off, we're about to starve from the legs of requests. Those dummies, think about it for a moment. You need the souls of about a better fixer grade, as it grows in your office, right? And that's gonna lead to higher income for us. For now, I'm working with my boss Sam, it's a dog shaped like a ball of rice cake. A ball of rice cake? What the hell? I thought you cared about him. But things, things could be better than this in the future, future yeah? yeah? It's not like I have a problem with my co-workers. I'm, 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 I'm talking about stuff like weapon and office interior, you know? Those kind of things. You get what I mean? I want a better place to work in. Those guys are great, but the environment, you know? <laughs> I do pick up with Mars and snap him off, yes, but... That doesn't mean I hate him. Sensei Mars have brought precious colleagues to me. Oh yeah, I know what you're about to say. The fixers develop private feelings for each other. It could be much harder to bear whatever happens down the line. I know what I'm doing is stupid. I have wits unlike Mr. Rice Cake's face, you know? I know when to go back. But I also get vengefully angry if something happens to him. But we are human. It's just something that can't be helped. How could we just strictly detach ourselves from one another and focus on work? I tried acting nonchalant. I did, but... I just... I guess I can't do it. Sen said it feels the same. I gotta end the mass of being cool. I could get it at the time. But at the same time, I also cared about you, because even though you pick up with him multiple times, he still cared enough for you to get a new cake, right? And that was probably the last straw, and that also inflicted the whole rage thing, right? Yeah, that was probably the case. In sense? An associated office is one that is in cooperation, a cooperation relationship with one of the associations. The advantage of this designation is that its fixer will not have to worry about starvation, since they are paid a stable salary, and that the office simply has to handle tasks given by the association with proficiency, rather than having to deal with clients who accept their requests as ordinary officers do. Spending days without any incident happening in the area designated for peace can be admittedly boring. Though it's a blessing to have such a peaceful day in the city and not worry about starvation. I was grateful to have such serenity each day. Reasoning with Lulu's occurrence complaining because it's not moving enough is fine, right? It's fine. Is boredom the only downside of being associated in an associated office? It's not quite true. 
because we are under the direct command of the association, we are forced to take on any undesirable task again, even if it carries the risk of wiping out the authors. Meaning, they are also able to use you guys as guinea pigs in the worst case of scenarios. But it also means they're going to help you out at times as well, right? If you're worried. At least if you have some uh, connection to the top, that is. Otherwise, it's just going to be used in a doggy dog world, huh? Oh, poor sense. Really poor sense. I can't blame the association. So I have to. So I only have myself to fall for failing to save my guys. Yeah. You can't blame them. It was a secret mission. It wasn't actually a full request. Sure, you had to check it out, but you could have done it in a different way as well. But still, still, it kind of hurts. It still kind of hurts, Sans. You are still filled with sorrow. At the very least, you still had some friends helping you and stay by your side. It doesn't change the fact that you still got hit. I had to join them. Now bookshelves. Ah, oh, this is depressing. This is really depressing. Okay, uh, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, once I get to Isadora, how she's called, I'm probably going to read uh, Yulia's page as well, because it seems like since Yulia and Isadora also have history together. Maybe they were friends at one point. I mean, it seems like they were working together at least, right? They knew each other. They were friends. They were connected. They didn't really say it out loud because they probably tried to keep distance from each other. So who knows? Maybe there was some kind of story that uh, led to a split. But either way, right? Either way. It's always good to, to read them in pairs, right? <laughs> Especially if they are connected like that. You never know, right? You never know in which way they are connected. And sometimes we are able to understand them a little bit better that way, right? Either way, I hope you guys had fun with today's part. In between the next part, in this part, I'm probably going to get some uh, battle pages for our new recruits and prepare the decks with a few of our new cards, <laughs> maybe. And after that, we're just going to throw the next invitation into the wind and see where it's going to lead us. I'm not entirely sure if we're going to fight against the Zwei Association again. Or maybe a new group, but we'll see, right? We'll see. Anyways, until then! Bye bye!